All right, quick video on three top euro currency trading systems for the futures in Forex. We see the move last night in the euro currency and euro surge captured that move in the futures on the left and the Forex on the right. Same trade in both. Uh, take a look at the trade station performance summary. This is uh, this is the futures on the left, and so we see 66,575, 4,000850 drawdown, seventy dollars average profit per trade. Uh, let's look at the equity curve. You can see there's been a uh, period of time when there's it's in cycle, and so there's a rise in equity, and then you know a choppier period, so it goes sideways and then up, and then lately it's been sideways, and then we started a new move up. Wanted to send this out earlier this week and did not get a chance. I've been catching up for Thanksgiving holidays, and you see that this the equity peak has started to move upward, and then with this trade it it's peaked again. And it's a pretty big move uh, on the central bank news last night. Look at the equity curve in the Forex. Settings are the same. And you see that here's the equity curve. It went down and then now it's making new equity peaks as well. 61, 468.75, $83 average profit per trade. This is on 125,000 uh, unit uh, to match the futures. Futures are one contract, which is also 125,000. Uh, you get 4420 drawdown, and this goes back to 2003, so eight years total. And take a look. Let's take a look at the inputs here. They're the same on the futures as the forex. I've had two versions here. And version this is on version two. It uses a $725 stop loss, and it's showing a max daily entries of two. And so we really want to set that to one. Let me set that to one really quick. There's not much difference in the results, but uh, if you if you change this to version one, it trades. Uh, it uses a $300 stop loss. Version two uses a $725 stop loss, and version one does not have a, a limitation on the number of daily trades. Max daily entries is is uh, one is limited to one if you use version two if you use version one it, it can take multiple trades per day but it has a tighter stop loss and so what we're looking at last night is the version two let's, let's update the results here with the cause had the max daily entries set at uh, more than one and so I want to see the results on just one okay I paused the video while that was updating and here are the results seventy seven dollars Average profit per trade, um, 29 $37.50 drawdown, 62 312.50, and here is the equity curve. And the, let me check the um, let me check the forex, make sure it just showed one trade. Yeah, it's set to one max daily entry of one. And so um, if you w if we would have used version one, this would have been stopped out because it has a three hundred and twenty five dollar stop loss. So you can choose a tighter stop with more trades per day, or you can use a bigger stop and then limit it to one trade per day. And so this version two strategy caught the euro surge, but it's been catching moves overnight. This strategy trades from two o one in the morning, so two o one a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it, it will take entries until eleven forty five a.m. Eastern Standard Time and then we'll exit any open trades by noon Eastern Standard Time. So that is Euro Surge and the update on Euro Surge. I want to show you uh, real quick the EVP Euro currency. This is the five minute chart. It did not catch that move last night because it does not take a trade until 8.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it would not have taken the trade till 8.45 which is this time period right here. It's been fairly choppy since that time period. Uh, Euro, one of the advantages of Euro Surge is it, it can catch the moves overnight. A lot of times we've seen the news create uh, choppy market conditions intraday, or yeah, it, it creates choppy uh, market conditions intraday while the moves happen overnight. So if you get up in the morning, you see a nice big move overnight, and then you watch the chop during the day, uh, Euro Surge provides you a, a strategy to catch any trends overnight in the Euro currency. Uh, we'll take a look at this performance summary for EVP2, 22,437.50. This is over the last three years, and the settings, it's, it includes $25 slippage and commission. The Euro surge results did not include that $25 slippage and commission, but this EVP2 does. has almost $85 average profit per trade. It has a very tight stop loss of $300, and so you only get 39% of the trades profitable. 
but you get here's the equity curve we made it equity peaks recently we've only taken one trade so far this month so it's a very selective strategy um, it requires uh, some movement in the market to get in and uh, very selective so only one trade so far this month let's look at the monthly returns normally you can see it taking 10 11 12 trades in previous months but this trade it's on this this month so far it's only taken one trade that was a break-even trade and we show minus 25 dollars there for slippage in commission uh, one other strategy I want to show you is from my book it's uh, Forex trading secrets here is you can find it on my website it, it can be in the right sidebar if you scroll through you can get it on Amazon or you can click on ebooks up here and go to Forex Trading Secrets. You can purchase it from me on my version. Uh, you can get the book plus the trade station code here. Um, you can also go to Amazon.com, Barnes and Noble or the iBook store and get the book. Take a look at the results. Forex Trading Secrets. It is right here. The day trade version has not done that well. We wrote the book initially. Uh, for the after hours markets the final strategy was the strategy here on the right it trades uh, after after the market closes at six o'clock eastern time it begins to take trades between six and midnight eastern time and we've recently made equity peaks with this strategy last night was a loser but so far this month is up 21.62.50 it's rather it's it's a pretty boring uh, trading system because not many trades not much um, trend is taking place at that night at uh, so we use the counter trend moves we take advantage of counter trend moves uh, we had some nice trades if you go back here on November the 22nd and on November the 23rd we had some nice trades um, but it's recently made equity peaks take a look at this again uh, here's the performance summary since I guess this is going back five years and it's choppy periods, choppy time periods here from uh, May of 09, and then it did make a new equity peak until April of 2010. So about a year in here where it didn't do as well. Uh, recently, it's done done well since September. So pretty strong move upwards since September. And this is the an original strategy. Through the book, I show you different strategies. This one on the left was a day trade version. It was doing well earlier this year. It has not done well in recent months. And so uh, take a look if you're interested in trading the after hours and a euro currency system from 6 p.m. till about midnight Eastern Standard Time. Uh, take a look at the Forex trend right here. You can see it. And you can get it on the website. So that's the update for the three euro currency trading systems that I have. And let me know if you have any questions.